So here it is, the complete uh, project for the upgrade of the battery pack for the CSC motorcycle. This is the before and after, which I'm going to show in a second. But just to recap, the battery from stock from CSC, um, it is made out of prismatic cells, which I initially thought it was going to have 18650s. But the cells that we um, ended up using was the 21700s. And these 21700s, uh, as I show it in another video, those are the NMCs or usually uh, these, these cells are usually used on EVs, electric vehicles for the, for the new car. So I was pretty lucky to get those cells from LG. And those are basically the nickel manganese cobalt oxide. So energy density on these guys is way better than any other 18650 out there in the market. So. Uh, just a quick comparison, uh, these cells, they they go and they cover basically the entire uh, space around here. And the old BMS, it, it's shoved all the way up here. So this battery pack, it's almost 24 amp power. So, and, I, and I, I put it on a scale and it's close to 26 pounds, just the way it is. Now this upgrade with the case, BMS, and, and uh, all the components that are inside the cage, so this, this box, this battery pack, it is 32, um, 32 pounds. But the capacity on this guy went all the way to 38.4 amp hours, of which is huge. So um, one of the few modifications that I had to do is this uh, po um, power meter or capacity meter is no longer used because the new cells, I'm going to show how... Um, if it's right on the on the edge I had to move the power cord I mean the power output holes to the side make a little extra hole here so we can run the the um, LCD power cord and that powers the screen the LCD screen and the signal connector and the charge port are still functional and this is the final result so um, I had to add um, another layer of protective plastic just for sanity check so these are all my voltage sense uh, wires that they're used for the BMS for balancing uh, the configuration of this battery pack is 20S 20S 8P from LG and as you can see here I have the main output power cords or ca uh, power wires um, all the way down there hidden we have the BMS from Chargery. This is the first time I used this BMS so um, I think it should be okay. Um, one of the new features that this guy has is the, the current shunt. This current shunt is very well protected by a heavy duty heat shrink with glue so that guy is not going to go anywhere. And finally we have here the old BMS. This old BMS my, intent, my initial intention was to be able to keep reading the overall voltage of the pack and display the, the state of charge on the screen of the motorcycle. But uh, unfortunately that board fried and caused a few issues with the CAN communication. So I'm still using this because it, it still, commun uh, well not doesn't communicate anymore. But it uses, it, it's, it, it works like a power switch from, from the key. So... Uh, basically, when you turn the key on on your motorcycle, um, this is basically the power switch. So it sends the 72 or the pack voltage to them to the uh, some relay that I have inside of um, the motorcycle, so we can power on the DC to DC and everything. It's alive. So, anyways, going back to the battery, um, this is the complete project. Um, I already tested a few cycles, charge and discharge, on a load, um, and it was okay, it was fine, so I'm ready to put it in the motorcycle. So I'm going to close this up, wrap it up, and um, take it out for a spin, and pretty positive I'm going to get way more range than what I was getting before. So um, that's it, project completed. Thank you.